Okay, so today we are looking at the Tier 1 light cruisers, the ships that everybody gets at the beginning of the game if they pick a Federation character. Well, not the original series era. You get a uh, utility cruiser that's more in the TOS era. We're going to start by looking at the Miranda and the game's take on it, which uh, mostly the Miranda beta presets and then we'll go to the Miranda regular. This one is, the, I believe, the updated for the game. It's not like the regular Miranda. It's got like a, uh, I think that's a, a deflector dish up there. You got the sensor dome. You can see the phaser uh, rays or banks, I guess. And the bridge is up here. Elegant kind of roll bar is what it's called with torpedo launchers forward and aft. And I think those are like heavy phaser um, emplacements. You can kind of see the uh, Reliant shoot them in uh, Wrath of Khan, I think it was. But you got the right here, you can of course see the registry and the name. Also got a spot for it right here. Um, let's see, any other spots that it is? There's the registry again. It's also on both sides of the nacelles. And then you got shuttle bays one and two. See if that's the right button? Yeah. The impulse and the nacelles. So, I mean, yeah, it's like, you know, you've got that standard thing that seemed to crop up on the Federation ships at the time. I don't remember what that is. I still haven't figured that one out. <clears throat> anyway, now let's go on to the regular Miranda version. Where's the... There it goes. Reset this. This, I think, is more in line with what was used in Wrath of Khan. Again, you've got your heavy emplacements right here. Torpedo launchers forward and back. Shuttle bays. All of the registry markings are the same. One difference you'll notice on the nacelles, I'll go ahead and show them, is they don't glow in the regular version. <clears throat> there's the remastered or for the game, there's the normal version, remastered, normal. <clears throat> the saucer really, I mean, there isn't much, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, uh, much of a change between the two. You can see I'm hovering over them and no change is happening. Dang it, I keep, I don't mean to keep doing that. <coughs> and then the struts, I mean, there's no difference between the struts. Oh uh, wait, you, you with the alpha and the beta version, you get the little attachment on the roll bar. And as far as I can tell, there is no difference on the pylons. Yeah, you can't even pick a beta version. The material is a little darker with the beta version too. So, I mean, that's what you get with the two Miranda variants. Moving on to the Centaur, which I believe was seen some points in the um, show. It's kind of got a more widespread uh, pylon arrangement. The torpedo launchers are underslung along with this deflector. There's the registry. You can see the escape pods kind of line the front of it. It's as close as I can zoom in. And the bridge is right there. Kind of unassuming for a bridge, which I guess kind of helps. <laughs> Never understood why the Federation puts their bridges where it's easiest to get hit. The nacelles are long and spindly compared to the other versions, but I mean, they just kind of give it a. I don't know, I kind of feel like it's a sled. I feel like they should be attached maybe right here so that the point of this is at least even with right here. But I mean, it, I'm not saying it's a bad design, I'm just saying it. that's how I think of it. <clears throat> I don't obviously a shuttle bay on there, but <coughs> I could be wrong. The impulse again, little weapons hard points that they give for ships that don't have obvious or strips and whatnot, or that's just used for turrets. You know, unless that's a shuttle bay, but I highly doubt it being under the impulse drive. No idea what these weird little textures are next to the deflector spine. Moving on to the Shikar class, it's an entirely designed for the game, uh, named after 
of City and Vulcan. This one's a lot blockier. It's like, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like it's more designed to be durable. The nacelles look like they're, uh, compared to like, say, the Miranda, the nacelles look like they've been rotated 90 degrees. They're attached with more of an open pylon. And again, you see that heavy phaser hard point here. <clears throat> and then you've got uh, not as much open lighting or open glow space on this. Again, you got the bridge. You got the registry number, name and registry. Although it doesn't look like they're on the nacelles this time. So that's something different. This one seems to take a little design aspiration from the Soyuz class, which, I mean, isn't. which had a more of an outcropping from the back of the ship. Unfortunately, I don't have a little picture to put up. But again, no, they don't seem to really care about the shuttle base if it's not an in universe ship already. That you have. I don't even know what those are. They glow like they're warp related, but. Could be impulse. I think we've seen some impulse glow blue. We've got impulse right there too. So most ships don't have more than two glow spots, so more than two drives. Again, you've got your hard point for turret. And there's your photon torpedo launchers or quantum or whatever you want to use. Oh hey, the registry number. And then the deflector dishes right here. Overall, I think this is like a kind of a more rugged design amongst the variants. <clears throat> Moving on to the Saratoga, which they recently added. He actually uses, apparently, the Miranda saucer and the cells, but adds the, with the strut, it replaces it, the roll bar with these phaser, I think, hard points on either side of the ship, which is interesting. I haven't actually looked at this ship before now, so and really, there, I'm only going to. There's not much to point out since it's using half the parts for the Miranda. Uh, then the pylons are a little different, apparently. Let's see how much different are they. Let's see, there's Miranda pylons. Really, it looks like the. Saratoga version just kind of gets rid of this thing right here and just kind of brings them up. So and it, it brings the nacelles apparently a little closer to the hull and adds the hard points to the side. And just for a little bonus, I'm going to include the Reliant variant. This it's a tier six light cruiser simply because it's there and I can. This one looks a lot more streamlined compared to all the others, so it kind of matches the later game ships that tend to look streamlined. But it still maintains the look of the light cruisers, especially the Miranda in, in particular. Maybe a little bit of this. No, maybe not the Centaur. But you've got the, the nacelles are one of the... Ob I mean, the whole thing is an obvious change, but the nacelles immediately come to my attention right there with the kind of bulky but they're streamlined too they're colorful um, and you look like looks like you have two deflectors one up top and one below you got the registry right there I wonder what these are and an interesting design choice of course you don't have the escape you still have the escape pod rings lining and everything Unfortunately, I can't zoom any further. There's the name and registry. You can barely make it out. They also have the registry on the nacelles. The, the little roll bar is actually, instead of being attached to the... Actually, it looks like if it went clean through, it would be attached to the pylons. But instead of being attached more directly to the pylons like that, or even the Shakir, which attaches its roll bar both... To, on either side of this little outcropping and dr literally directly to the pylons then the Reliant just kind of attaches it to the hole and it's really sleek as 
the way it's curved, because it's got a sort of a backwards curve to it, it just flows. And it's got its torpedo launchers on it and on that, and oh, there's something different. You don't see very many shuttle bays, like I was saying earlier on designs that the that cryptic or perfect world or whoever owns it at the time i swear this has gone for like three four different hands by now you don't see that very many shuttle bays on designs that they come up with especially the smaller designs but just for those that were curious whenever i was flying one of these i used a weird combination mostly that was the shikar saucer and struts which i kind of like that hollow space on the shikar right there that's one of the things that gives it its rugged look the miranda nacelles which for some reason i colored red and the pylons for the centaur because i like how it's strung them out anyway that's it for today and um, i will be putting a link in the description for the voting for the tier three ships if I don't get enough votes to break the tie, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the Tier 1, like like the uh, NX and Constitution and the Oberth. I'm not going to do the Steam Runner because I do not have it. And I'm not going to do the uh, Andorian Light Escort again because I do not have it. But if I don't get enough votes before, I, I will go to those. Just to try and pad out the time so I can get some votes. So if you... If you like this video, feel free to like it, subscribe, do what you will. Uh, have a good day.